Hello everyone, my name is Tim McCaffrey and in this tutorial video the goal is to create the home plate area for a baseball diamond. So basically the goal is to create the home plate, the left and right batter's box, and uh, the catcher's and, and umpire's box. So there's a lot of work to be done and so specifically what I want to focus on is this polygon right here or the home plate. That takes a little bit of thinking. Uh, nevertheless, if they know how to construct a square or, or just basically perpendicular uh, bisectors they're uh, in parallel lines, you could actually create this. You just gotta be able to apply that knowledge. So I'm gonna focus on this right here and um, and then on the next tutorial video, we'll, we'll continue with then the, the other two rectangles here, or actually three of them, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So I'm going to start with my with my my vertice, and this uh, vertex is going to be the point of the of the polygon here. So this is what the dot that I'm referring to. So it's going to be this guy. All right. So as you can see, this right here, if if, if you kind of look at this right here, this is like a this is a half of a square. This is 12, and this is 12. So what I want to do right now, I'm actually going to I'm going to create a half of a square. I'm going to do a 12 and a 12. I mean, we're not measuring this here, but that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so let's first uh, indicate how long we want the side to be, and maybe I'll make it about that length. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just create a small arc, and I'm going to go ahead and extend my line through. All right, so I'm going to so from here to here, this is the side of that square, but I'm actually gonna extend this through, and you'll see why here in a minute here, okay? So really from here to here, that's gonna be the length of one of the sides of our home plate. And so what I wanna do is I wanna create this side, and if you remember what we do is from here, we just do another length. I'm gonna just kinda make this smaller here like that, and I'm gonna create an arc on both sides. So I'm gonna create an arc there, and create an arc there. All right, now you just make it bigger. I'm make it a little bigger there. And now we're gonna create two arcs as so. And where they connect, that will be the point that we need to create our perpendicular bisector there, okay? So I know that from here to here, that's not gonna give us our uh, nine degree angle. Now what we want to do is we want to copy the same side, right? So we're going to go from this guy to here. Say, okay, so that's the same length. And so I'm going to, I'm going to draw just a small arc there. And that tells me that from here to here, that's the other side. Okay. So this side is the same and that side is the same. So essentially what we've done so far is we've created these two lines right here. That's what we've created. Okay. All right, so uh, what we want to do now is uh, we need to create these lines that are going to be parallel, but but the goal now is, okay, well, okay how do we do that? I mean, we don't want to eyeball and just say, well, it kind of looks like it's going to be like this. So if you notice this here, we could actually, we can create another square right here and then cut the square in half. So if I have a one side of a square, one side of a square. If I cut that square in half, that's gonna give me my vertical line. Ah, ah. So I'm just gonna extend this up just a little further down, just in case we need that. Okay, and um, so basically if I take the same length that I have here, okay, and if I create an arc down here, then that means that from here to here and from there to there, that is a square or it's, it's a half of a square. So if I connect those two, that's going to give me um, my vertical line then. So if I connect this guy right here, and I'm not going to go too far, but like I'll go, let's go that far right there. Okay. All right. So we got that guy going on. We're going to have to do the same thing over here. We want this guy to go up as well. And so what we'll do is that we have a line and a point, and I want a line parallel to this line going through that point. So we'll, we'll do 
a method here. It's the Romus method, and basically you put the uh, point of your compass right here, and then make sure that you extend it past this line. I'm just going to do an arc like a half of a circle. Okay. Using the same measurement, place it right there on this line, and you're going to make another arc that hits this line. Okay, so we hit that line right there. And then you're going to do another arc. Don't change the dimensions. Bam. And then you have this point right here. So now if you connect these two guys right here, put it up right here. If you connect these two guys, these two are parallel. So what we've created, you can see here, what we've created is this and that. All we need now is the line to, to go straight across. And we're not just going to go like this and say, oh, yeah, again, make sure that this is accurate. So what I will do, though, is determine how long do I want this to be. And, then, you know, I mean, since we're not measuring here, I'm going to have it be at a length at about right there. Okay. So this side is going to have that length. Okay. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to we're going to construct a perpendicular line across that way. And we're going to do the same way as if we were, you know, going to construct a square or something like that. So I'm going to do arc. Oops. Arc. And then make it a little bigger. And then arc. Arc. And now you can connect these two guys right here. And there we have the home plates. And so next, what we need to do is um, we need to create both home or uh, uh, a batter's boxes and then the Empire's uh, box as well.